We have to keep moving. We got to bring more people. Building all these new places for people to live is, a, I think, a good thing for everybody. My family came down from Chicago in 1936, and when they moved into the house on the southeast corner of 61st and Primrose, they were asked why they wanted to move out into the sticks, because everything ended at about 62nd Street, or what is now Broad Ripple Avenue. If you wanted to go downtown to the larger stores, uh, you could catch either a streetcar or a bus and go down. So you had the, the advantage of the amenities of downtown by a bus and streetcar, but you also had the advantages of being in, living in what was essentially kind of a small town with its own grade school, own high school, own fire station, own movie theater, own library. So it was self-sufficient in that, but was part of the larger city. I found a picture um, when the water company changed hands because they owned the canal. So they had all the history of the canal and all the old photographs of the canal, building it, and all the blueprints. And one of these things I got was a an aerial photograph of Broad Ripple, and it shows the Broad Ripple Avenue, all the core of the canal, the river. Um, and you can see there, there are many houses, big houses, on Broad Ripple Avenue around Carrollton and Guilford without houses in the backyard. They first turned into businesses in the houses. I have pictures that I've found in the past few years of houses that became businesses. And then eventually those got torn down and buildings got put in. But that's, that's normal. I mean, that's a normal thing that happens in progress. In fact, my sixth grade boyfriend's house became just pop in. That broke my heart. <laughs> People did live here, uh, and they, as it began to expand after the annexation, the bungalows began to move south, but the city began to move north. It began to revive when shops began to open in the older houses north of the canal. Gift shops, that sort of thing. And that's what brought it back. And then, of course, later, restaurants began to, began to pop up. And then the bar scene began. <laughs> we just have to adjust to the new computer-designed five-story buildings that were not supposed to be more than two stories. But we're also bringing in vital young people. But certainly it's important to know why things are and who was here before and how we got here. And to, to understand what went on with the canal and how that was built and who built it and the structure it became downtown and, and the pioneers that came in here and built these areas. I think that, that gives people a sense of place to know those histories.